Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing another video with MineralMakeupMarket.com which is a mineral makeup website where they stock three different brands of mineral makeup. They've got Mineral Luster, Color Evolution and Sheer Design. Um, I have used their products before in a video and I also use them in my daily life because I'm more of a natural makeup girl these days trying to let my skin breathe which I think is probably partly the reason why my skin's cleared up. Anyway, that's a separate video. But today I'm going to do a tutorial using their Caribbean stack plus a lot of their other... This is by Color Evolution and it's a purple stack. I wanted to do a purple eye today as well as like a glowing complexion which is really easy to achieve with mineral makeup. So um, if you want to keep um, watching the video I'd appreciate that so you can see this tutorial but please stay tuned because I would love for you to enter my contest to win a year's supply of mineral makeup from mineralmakeupmarket.com and I've also got a massive 30% off coupon code for you guys for the online store. Without further ado I'll get into the tutorial so I don't bore you all before you get to see the good stuff and then at the very end of the video please stay tuned so you can find out my coupon code as well as exactly how to enter the contest. Before we go in I'm just going to tease you with this photo of the year supply of makeup that you could be in the running to win. So that's it. Um, if you want to see how to win that stuff, wait till the end of the okay. video. Enjoy the tutorial. Okay, so starting out with the makeup, I already applied my primer. I didn't show this because it needs to set into the skin and it's like a liquid primer um, just to you know make the skin nice and supple and prepare it for the powder foundation. So I've got quite a few of the foundation colors because I change my foundation color all the time. I think the one that I usually reach for is this one by Sheer Design. The name's rubbed off. And I've got that on a buffing brush. My skin's quite good at the moment, quite good. I did break out around here recently, but um, a lot of you have picked up that my skin um, has improved. For daytime wear, this is really good. When I was in Thailand, I wore this exact foundation every single day because it's breathable and all of that jazz. It's just so comfortable and it's really quick to apply. I find it stays really well. I actually find that it actually wears better than when you first put it on because then it blends in with all of your face oils. So that's foundation on. And I'm going to go and do my brows. I've got a brow tutorial. I'm not going to show you that, but they look pretty horrendous. So I'm going to do them now. Okay, so now I've got those bad boys on. I'm going to use an eye primer. This is my Mineral Luster Eye Primer in Clear. Applying that with just this concealer brush by Sigma. Now for the eyeshadow, I've got quite a few of their stacks, but my favourite is this purple one in Caribbean, or Caribbean as I think the US says. Anyway, so I'm going to do a look with this. So I'm going to take the top colour, so they're a loose dust and they're very nice. I really like these eyeshadows. So I've got that on a blending brush and I'm going to pat that through the socket at first because it's a loose dust. It has to be worked with differently to a matte, sorry, like a pressed powder. So I like to get the product on there first and then blend it out. However, mineral like eyeshadows really adhere really well, even without primer. Um, as you can see, that just, you know, I had very little on my brush and it just butters out and spreads like butter. Then I'm going to take this buffed brush from the Real Techniques set and buff out the edges. Now I'm taking the Periwinkle Blue colour on this firmer brush, patting that into the lid, working it into the brush. I'm going to go onto my eye and contour the outer side of my eye. So I'm creating like a C shape along the outer edge of my eyeball. Not eyeball. Oh, yeah. Eyelid. And then I'm also going to pat that into the inner third of my eye. It's cool how you layer this eyeshadow because the purple still shows through and it creates a really multi-dimensional effect. Then on the very bottom there's a dark blue. For this one I'm actually going to take this uh, angled brush and I'm going to put some on the brush then. I'm going to blend that along the lash line. curve it up 
into the C there just a little bit and then on the inner part blend it into the inner corner as well. Then under the eye I'm going to take this Now I've got some of the foundation that I originally used on my Sigmax brush and I'm going to use this around the perimeter of the look to neaten it up. Now I'm going to do the eyeliner and I'm using my Mineral Luster Black Gel Eyeliner or Pot Eyeliner. This is probably like the most um, pigmented black eyeliner I've ever used. Really pigmented. You just have to make sure you use a very precise brush for this because it's um, not um, like a like a, a gel, so it's um, yeah different to work with. But I'm using an art liner brush, so this is an angled art brush, and it is very thin. So I just swipe it in the pot, look down into a mirror, and then draw it along the top lash line. And I pretty much always like wing mine out toward the end because I like that little lift to the eye. Once I've got the wing in, I'm going to line the brush up with the bottom part of that wing. And then start tapping onto my waterline. So to make it look like my waterline flows into the bottom of that flick. So that's what I've got so far. Now for mascara, and I'm going to use the Falsies Volume Express. I'm really excited for this next product because um, it is like my ideal color really. It's this mineral blush from Color Evolution, it's called Morning Dew. And it's very hard to explain but it's like a golden color. So silky like a veil of light on your cheek. Ah, oh, that's so nice. Can you see that? Do you see that? that. Um, and then another one of my current favorites. Oh no, I didn't want that one, sorry. They look very similar. So there are these two blushes from Sheer Design. I was going to go for this one which is a peach color, but I actually want this one which is like a cool pink. Just getting it from the lid. Blend that in on the cheeks. I think like if you have never tried mineral products before and you're wanting to, go for the cheek products um, and the face products because they are so much easier to use than you know traditional face products I think. Like they, I, I feel, I mean, like they just blend so well and sit so perfectly on the skin. The eye makeup, because it's traditionally like a loose powder, is a little bit harder to work with for people that aren't used to working with eyeshadows. But if you just wanted to start out, just, you know, maybe try the, you know, the Morning Dew or one of these blushes. That one that I just used is called Envy. Then I wanted to apply falsies. What did I do with those? So the ones I'm applying are these. I think they're called Oh My from the Katy Perry by Ilua line, which you can get at Priceline. They're just, you know, they're nothing too fancy. And I don't want to, you know, anything too much when I've got a bright color on the lid. Now the glue will dry clear. Now onto my lips. I'm going to use this Color Evolution lip gloss in Bashful. And I was wearing this lip gloss yesterday when I went shopping and it's one of my top faves now. It's so silky to the lips, really comfortable to wear. And it's a color that's just very close to my natural lips if you can see that. So it's good if you're going for like a natural look and even more natural than a nude. Plus it smells like a cake. And I like the brush. I prefer these brushes to doe foots personally. Am I the only one? Well everyone, that's the finished look I suppose. What do you think? So everyone, that's the end of the tutorial. I really hope you like this look. I'm going to wear it out today to go visit my friend Orowan from the Makeup Social. Um, 
and I'll just read to you now or tell you a little bit about the contest. So the contest is open to anyone internationally. Um, the prize is a year's supply of mineral makeup. That includes three foundations, three blushes, one bronzer, one trio of eyeshadows, so that's like a trio, like the stack, and then eight single eyeshadows, two gel eyeliners, one kabuki brush, one shadow slash liner brush, and two lip glosses and one translucent setting powder. So that's eight eyeshadows. Okay, you're getting a lot um, in that. That's really good. Um, that's a year supply of makeup. Win, all you've got to do is like their Facebook page and subscribe to their channel. And that's all you have to do to be eligible to win. I'll link those directly below in the description box. Um, and that's all you have to do to be in the running to win. As I said, it's international. Okay, just make sure that if you're under the age of 18, your parents are aware that you're entering this contest because um, the company will need your address in order to send it to you. Now, if you um, can't wait to see if you win the prize, see if you're the lucky person to win that prize, then you can go on mineralmakeupmarket.com and purchase anything that I'm using today that's in stock. Um, I used, as you know, Sheer Design, Mineral Luster and Color Evolution. I'll list the exact products that are used in the description box if I can find out the name of my foundation because it's rubbed off. Anyway, in order to get the 30% off, you just have to use the code Chloe's Minerals. That's really annoying. Sorry. <laughs> um, at checkout and you'll get 30% off as well as free shipping if your spend is over $80. $80. Or if you're under that, the international flat rate shipping is only $3.90, so it's not really much to worry about anyway. That's pretty much everything I've got to say. I'm really happy to be hosting this contest again. Um, the last girl that won it was very happy, and I got so many questions about mineral makeup after that, so I'm very happy to be doing this video again. I can't believe they're giving away another one. Like, that was only a few months ago that we did it. Anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and um, please remember to enter the giveaway so check out the description box. I'll reiterate all of the um, information that I've just mentioned and I hope that you're having a really good day. Bye!